I have read the terms and conditions. Yes. It's just a little lie, isn't it? For a robot, it's different. Even though there are artificial intelligence, it's hard for a software to lie. One, two, three, four. Of course, you can program a robot to always say red when it sees the color green or to mix up left and right on purpose. But is that a real lie? No, it's just a false statement. A lie, by definition, is a false statement made to deliberately deceive someone. It's either told out of insecurity, politeness, or to gain an advantage. Why is it so hard for machines to lie? How can you find out if a software is capable of lying? And why is it good for robots to learn how to lie? Let's take a look. Some people don't find it hard to tell little or even big lies in everyday life. But lying is actually not that easy. In order to lie convincingly, you have to know a lot about the person you are lying to. What previous knowledge does he or she have? How will the person react? In a conversation, you constantly have to evolve the lie depending on new information that's being added. Psychologists call this ability the theory of mind. For AI programs, though, it's difficult to understand human thinking or to predict the intentions of a human. So a well-constructed lie told by a robot is a thing of the future. Already in the very early days of AI research, the idea of using a lie detector was discussed. British mathematician Alan Turing formulated his concept in 1950. In order to find out if an artificial intelligence has the same intellectual capacity as a human, the software has to be able to lie. Therefore, the so-called Turing test was developed and it is still of interest today. The Turing test is a conversation of a person with two other unknown participants. One of them is a human, the other one is a machine. The communication works through text only. If the person can't distinguish the machine from the human, then the Turing test is considered a success. So the software has to pretend to be human, so it has to lie. The test is controversial, but still fascinates people today. Turing himself had a precise prediction about the future. By the year 2000, computers will be able to fool 30% of all people if the conversation doesn't last longer than five minutes. Turing was a little too optimistic here. In 2014, the Russian mm -hmm. chatbot Eugene managed to fool 33% of people into thinking he was human. Some said Eugene passed the test. Others criticized that the program imitated a 13-year-old mm -hmm. Ukrainian boy whose native tongue isn't English. Some of Eugene's chat logs can be found online. You can find the links down here. When you look at them, you start to doubt that this software is supposed to have human qualities. In May 2018, Google presented its AI telephone Duplex. Mm. Duplex can make automated phone calls. During the presentation, the system made a reservation at a restaurant. The waiter did not notice that he was talking to a machine. It is being debated whether Duplex passed the Turing test or not. Scientists work hard to develop robots that can lie. And it's a talent they will need. The future goal is for AI assistants to help us in any situation in life and to become good colleagues at work. To achieve this, they will have to do something that we do most of the time subconsciously. We tell little harmless lies to brighten the mood. They are called white lies. I was just about to send you the email. Of course, I would have asked you. Or when you're on your way to a job interview, you prefer to be told, you can do it, instead of an honest comment like, I think you should have prepared better. The more we use AI systems in our daily lives, the more important it will be for them to learn how to lie. What do you think about lying robots? Are they important or just strange? Discuss with us in the comments below. You want more information on the digital world and how it's changing every day? Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you again next time. Thanks for watching.